and they're off. That's the 60cc group, these junior riders. They start at six years old, and ride along in the junior group till they're 10. They're gonna ride 10 minutes plus one lap. Again, this group swarmed up by the Kawasaki bikes, looking at the leaders, all chasing at the moment for that elusive pole shot that they want. They want a clear track. It's number 30. Number 30 and 15. So that's the one to watch. Chris Martin from Peterborough. Number 30 taking the early lead. But 15, Stephen Sword is there. Stephen taking two race wins, but not taking away from this man. Number 30, Christopher Martin from the Peterborough Club. One young lad got going by his dad. So Chris Martin, nine-year-old Chris, four foot four inches and four stone in weight. So coming from market waiting. Seeing the leaders dropping down into that gully. It can be anybody's race at the moment. It's 30, followed by 15. Number three is there, Matthew Danes. 30 and 15. 15's going for it. 15, Stephen Sword going into the lead. So 15 now takes the lead. Stephen Sword. Young man from Eaglesfield near Lockerbie, come all the way from Scotland, exploding the berms down in the bottom of the track. We've lost the early leader, 30. Number 30 dropped it. Stephen Sword jumps down into this drop off, into the dip on the double horseshoe, already pulling out quite a substantial lead. In second spot, I think it's number three, Matthew Danes. So that's young Stephen again. Scotland rules the brave, well, the brave are certainly ruling at this moment in time. Back wheel kicks up slightly, front wheel's down on the ground first, but that's no problem for him. Number 10 in second spot, Mark Horwell. So it's 15, followed by number 10, Mark Horwell, and number three, Matthew Danes. So young. Number 15, that's Stephen Sword. Oh, number seven there, that's Michael Beatty. Come all the way from Northern Ireland, and he's tasting the Devonshire dust. Very distinctive red. Back with Stephen Sword, that's the leader. As he goes down the far end of the track now, he's 60cc bikes. Doing the pull. No, oh, he gets it all sideways for his young Stephen Sword. Has a look behind him and says, Oh no, it's okay, I've got plenty of time. Not going to rush himself at all. Drops down into that small gully. But number 10 looks to be closing. So that little kick allowed Mark Horwell some time to, to catch up on some yards. Like kicking out sideways, but uh, young Stephen Sword. Number 15, totally in control. Colourful riding clothing. Very mature riding style, standing up a lot around this bumpy track. It's number 10 in second place, coming into view.
They've been going for some five minutes, so they're half distance at this moment in time. Sun coming out now, getting quite warm for these lads. They must be sweating buckets underneath their armor, gloves, body belts. Underneath their shirts and, and jeans, they wear a kidney belt, which tends to keep the insides from rocking themselves to the outside. Very important part of their race protection. The race boots, got steel toe caps in, full leather, full support for the ankle, very good padding. So everything designed with safety in mind. And obviously the St. John's in attendance, should they come off and require attention, St. John's are there immediately on the scene. That's the second place man, number 10, Mark Horwell. And he's being followed by number three, Matthew Danes. So it's Stephen now on the Bovis back straight. Still there in the lead. That lime green Kawasaki takes the ruts. He can actually pick his own line. Nice clear track in front of him, which makes all these difference for these lads. It allows them to concentrate on their riding. They don't have to worry about who's in front of them. Can they see? That's the second place man coming down through. And he's down. No, he's not. Still 10, still number three. So it's still Mark Horwell from Matthew Danes. As the leader hits the bottom berm, gets the bike all sideways, stands up, lets the bike right itself down into that bottom gully. Apparently the ruts there are getting quite deep. Round the corner, steadies himself for the uphill steps before the Callington Kawasaki turn. Kaw Kawasaki now the only bike manufacturer that uh, actually make a 60cc bike for this group. That's Matthew Danes, number 10 in, sorry, that's Mark Horwell, number 10, followed by number three in third spot. That is Matthew Danes, followed by number 16 in fourth. That's Mark Williams. Mark also coming from South Wales, as do a lot of lads that are here today. South Wales tending to breed them tough. Perhaps a lot of places to go practicing. One of the problems that these lads face is that, uh, obviously because these bikes tend to be a little bit noisy, they find they have limited practice of tracks available to them. But Stephen Sword, certainly uh, making this race all his own. But Stephen Sword certainly got a great distance now in the lead. Looking now for the battle for second spot. That's the battle between number 10, Mark Horwell, and number three, Matthew Danes. It looks as though Matthew Danes has slid off the pace because number 10's all on his own now. That's number 10 on the back straight, on the Bovis back straight, into that kink right, and then left. Number 15, Stephen Sword, still in the lead. That's second place man. Second place man, number 10. Looking now for the number 15 bike. That's Stephen Sword. That looks like the fourth place bike at the moment. Taking it wide, hitting that dip there. That's number 23. And 30, there's the, the early leader gone through. Number 30, Christopher Martin. And we've got the leader. That's Stephen Sword. On this uphill before the Corby Cow the Callington Karasaki loop. Hits the berm. Goes down these three 
quite steep steps, certainly to ride down them into the TVM turn just before the start finish. Last lap flag this time round. That's number 34 biting the dust. 34, Mark Piercy. So, Stephen Sword taking the last lap flag. He's on the double horseshoe at the moment. Number 10, second place man, just gone through the finish area. That's the fourth place man, number 16. Looking for number 15, he'd probably be coming, he's on the back. There he is. Going around the back marker, taking the wide line. So 15 on the 60cc Kawasaki. Young Stephen Sword. He's round the back up. He's about to come into the back straight now as he enters the back Bova straight. It's 15 on his way. As we watch the rest of the field go through. Back with 15 now. On the right and left kink. He drops down. Off into the cambered left turn. Explodes the berm, trails his left leg. He's got a back marker in front of him. So Stephen Sword on the last half of his final lap now. That's Stephen Sword now, right down in that bottom area. Getting very rutted, the so soil certainly getting very loose for these 60cc bikes. But young Stephen coping admirably with the conditions. He'll be watering again this evening, trying to lay some of the dust down. He's down into the bottom gully. As he comes up into view again, onto the uphill steps. He's got 25 in front of him, that's Thomas Wesley Smith from Peterborough, but he's the lap down. The Stephen Sword on the 60cc bike is certainly motoring along. He's lapping riders on a 1.2 mile circuit into this corner for the last time. So Stephen Sword, I think that's three out of three for young Stephen. Some magic racing from the lad from Scotland. Looking third place man, number sixteen, Mark Williams from South Wales. <laughs> 